This is a bar of glycerin soap. It'll moisturize and soften your skin, and it even smells like cinnamon. Who would have guessed it's actually made out of bacon? In this project, we're making this natural bar of shower soap from a pack of bacon and some household drain cleaner. For this project, we're gonna need a one pound pack of American style bacon and some crystal drain cleaner. I'm using this one because it's 100% lye, which in this case is pure sodium hydroxide. Now let's go ahead and get the frozen bacon out of the package and begin chopping it into strips. The thinner you make your strips, the better this is gonna work. And by the time you're done cutting, the meaty slab should look something like this. American style bacon has a lot of fat, and to get it out, we'll need a good sized cooking pot with a lid. Let's go ahead and transfer this into the pot, making sure the bits of bacon are getting separated. That's just gonna help it cook a lot better. Now we can go ahead and move this onto the stove and add the lid to help trap the heat. We're gonna render the fat out of this bacon and the temperature needs to be set very low. My gauge settled right around 95 degrees Celsius and that seemed to work great. After about eight hours of simmering, you'll have a pot full of cooked bacon. Now believe it or not, this smells so good your mouth will be watering, but don't eat it yet because we've got work to do. The sizzling liquid in the pot is rendered pork fat, and if we use the lid as a strainer, we should be able to get most of it out. Now chances are that some small impurities will get through as well, so the easiest way to purify the fat is to mix it with some water. You can see that it instantly separates into two layers, where the impurities sink to the bottom and the clarified fat floats to the top. I put this batch in a separate bowl and let it firm up in the fridge overnight so that the fat could be skimmed off the top. The end result is a beautiful, food-grade ball of lard, and some people actually use this for baking. Now it looks like we got about 70 grams, so our soap recipe will be based off that. To make this into soap, we'll need to remelt the lard on low heat, and while that's warming up, we can measure out the next two ingredients. Let's weigh out 26 grams of distilled water, followed by 9 grams of sodium hydroxide. This will need to be mixed thoroughly, and before you try this yourself, make sure you're fully aware of the hazards listed on your bottle of lye. When the solution is crystal clear again, it's ready to be added to the melted fat, so carefully pour it in and start mixing it together. Now I chose to mix this by hand, and the method that works well for me is to stir constantly for the first five minutes, then come back every five minutes after that, and stir for another two. We're looking for the mixture to thicken up, and after about 25 minutes, it's got the consistency of a thick gravy. After 35 minutes, it looks like vanilla pudding. When the mix is tracing like this, we can add some color and some fragrance. Now I like the smell of this essential oil. It's called cassia, and seven drops into the mix will make it smell like cinnamon. Let's follow that with seven drops of red food coloring, and you can see when it all gets mixed together, everything turns a bright pink. Now to make this look like a real bar of soap, I fashioned a little soap mold out of silicone, and you can see the soap mix is just runny enough to fill it up. The last step is to let our bar of soap saponify. Let's go ahead and turn the oven light on and place the mold inside with the oven door closed for about 24 hours. Just the heat from the oven light is enough to help cure the soap and hardens it to the point where we can release it from the mold. And there you have it, a fresh bar of homemade soap. Now you could use this right now, but it's still pretty soft and might need to cure a little bit longer. If you let your soap age for a few weeks, it'll be noticeably firmer and will last a lot longer in the shower. Just for fun, let's use some litmus paper to test the pH. According to this, the pH value is somewhere between 7 and 8, making this bar slightly alkaline. In any case, you'll be able to tell if it's done by giving the bar a little lick. If it tastes like soap, it is. On the other hand, if it feels like you're getting zapped by a 9 volt battery, it needs a little more time to cure. If we use the soap to wash our hands, you can see it suds up the way you'd expect it should. And because we didn't take the glycerin out, it's got a smooth, creamy lather that helps moisturize and soften your skin. Well, now you know how to make a beautiful bar of soap from household drain cleaner and a pack of bacon. By the way, rather than throwing away your bacon meat, try spreading it out on paper towels to make a batch of homemade bacon bits. We use these ones for dinner on our baked potatoes. 
Well, that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com.